Yeah, it's it's a tough situation. I always think like, you know, everyone needs to take accountability in the situation. Everyone that's an adult, I mean, obviously mm-hmm. not children, um, especially, you know, when they're being manipulated in this way. Um, but I think the father in this situation, he just needs to take accountability for the fact that he chose to procreate and entertain a life with this woman. And he didn't notice the warning signs ahead of time. And like, I'm sure they were there. Like, I don't know, you can't, You no one is so good of an actor or actress that they can portray like pure innocence and good intentions when that's not what they have. I feel like we need to be able to, you know, trust our intuition in these these situations so we can avoid them. I hear you. You know, let's talk about, let me just say this shit, because I hear this shit all the time about warning signs and red flags. Mm. Guys, let me tell you guys a secret that 20-year divorce attorneys know. Everybody has red flags. I have red flags. Miley, you have red flags. I do. El Guapo. Oh, my God. (laughs) Hold on now. (laughs) Hold on now. Guys, let me tell you something. Everybody has red flags. Now, Miley, if me and you were to date, you would see some of my red flags. I would see some of your red flags. And if me and you were to get married, you would continue to see these quote unquote red flags. And I would continue to see your red flags. Here's the thing about red flags, guys, and everybody needs to understand this. None of y'all understand this shit. When a marriage lasts 50 years until one of them dies and it's a successful marriage, that marriage contained multiple quote unquote red flags. Listen to what I'm telling you. Every single relationship contains countless red flags. The only time people bring up red flags is when the relationship ends. Do y'all understand that? It's only when they end, everybody's like, oh, well, you should have saw this or you should have saw that. Like, nigga, I did see it. But if we got married and we held the marriage together and we loved each other despite those red flags, Mm -hmm. nobody would be talking about it. Everybody would be like, oh, this was so beautiful. But now that Miley wants me to wants to divorce me and, and Miley's, Miley's friends are like, oh, Lee had a ton of red flags. Nice. I had a ton of red flags when we were dating. So when you say, oh, you know, Miley, you're like, oh, well, he, I know he's sitting in jail now, but he should have seen the red flags. Mm-hmm. Everybody has red flags. If he did not date her and dated someone else, there would have been red flags. Right. But, you know, abuse and manipulation is not like a red flag that you should ignore. There are red flags, you know, that are going to, you, you can work with them, right? They, they make your relationship stronger in a way, but that's not, you know. What red, wait, wait, wait. What red flags make your relationship stronger? Hmm. Uh, fuck. I... Exactly. <laughs> God, I got that good ear. Like when you listen to people talk, especially women, shout out to women. Oh, some red flags make your situation stronger. Call them out. Who's wait? Let me just uh, apart from this, guys. Who saw Elon Musk get in the ass of that BBC uh, pause, that BBC reporter? Right, guys. I should I should write a course on this about really interrogating somebody because people will just come up here and talk. Some red flags make your relationship stronger. Say okay, name one. Elon said name one. The guy couldn't name one. Well, okay, I can name one. I can okay. name one. Neuroticism. Neuro uh, what? All right, who's neurotic? Let's say a woman's neuroticism. A woman's yeah, neuroticism is, okay. can can make the relate can make a marriage stronger. Yes, it's How essential so? for um, childbearing. It's it's like um, it's one of the two main biological no psychological differences between men and women, and it's um, it's a way to protect infants in their most vulnerable stage. Neuroticism that like sense of worrying and seeing potential threats in their environment is, is important. It's, it's a biological uh, marker for, for being the the nurturer that they're supposed to be. I hope y'all saw what she just did. 
guys this is so important i hope y'all saw what she just did this is this is amazing to 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 get this out because this is what i really want all my blue pill women to see because women cannot hide it but you just have to learn how to pick up on it i asked her what is what is a marriage a marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman let, uh, man man woman woman fine but let's just say conventionally a relate a marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman, a woman and a man. I asked her, I said, what red flag can make the marriage stronger? Which is what she said. Immediately, who does she point to? She points to the benefit of someone outside of the marriage. She points to an infant, guys. And this is what you guys need to understand. These women, oh, it's it's better for you. It's better for you if I'm neurotic so that I can take care of my child better. How is that better for you as a man? How is that better for you as a man? Do y'all hear what she just did? You gotta be so you gotta you be know on that it. Your children are safe when you aren't around. Exactly. Guys, this is my point. This is my point. Whose well-being is she emphasizing? children that's that's exactly that so who did i say but you know that wasn't the point you guys <laughs> i do y'all hear you gotta be good to hear this oh, shit man. women will absolutely try to prioritize your children's lives over you they will do it naturally to the extent that it, you can't you shouldn't even really fucking blame them because that's how they're wired they're like oh well if the child is is okay then you're good i don't need to give you blowjobs if the child is safe <laughs> Then she said not necessarily. She didn't even say no. She didn't even say no. She's like, well, not necessarily, you know? Right? If 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 a woman will absolutely think, absolutely think that as long as the child is good, you're fucking good. Your life doesn't matter to these women. No, I no, swear no, to God. No, 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 no. Hold up, lead, hold up, lead. Because if we're gonna have this conversation, we should talk about the whole thing. So I mentioned two psychological differences between men and women i mentioned neuroticism the other one is agreeableness wait and first that, wait, wait, that, wait, wait. that's a green flag that's something that would benefit the relationship between men and women so no not, wait, wait. so not, agreeableness is a green flag correct all right so uh a neuroticism is a red flag agreeableness is yes agreeableness is a green flag so the green flag is agreeableness is anybody here? I can do this shit all day. I need to be a law professor. Does anybody hear what she just did? What did she do? She doesn't hear it. <laughs> Agreeableness is a green flag. And I agree with her. What's the problem? Can anybody say the problem? I'm going to just say Y'all are like 20 seconds behind in the chat. Does anybody catch the problem with her saying that agreeableness is a green flag? Marriage causes divorce says change in the topic. That's not how I would have stated it, but I'm I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to marriage causes of divorces. What was the original question? What was the original question? Do you remember what the original? Do you not remember? <laughs> the original question was, what red flags improve a marriage? Because you mm -hmm. said that there are some red flags that will improve a marriage. Right. right. So I ask, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I ask you what red flags will improve a marriage. You tell me a green flag. <laughs> a green flag. Yes. The opposite. I, I see it as a green flag. Someone could see that as no, a green no, 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 no. Like you beta type would see that as a as a if you a see red it, flag. if you see it as a green flag, then you should not talk about it. Because we were Fair. talking about red flags. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is all about listening. The people will try to get over on you. So she mentioned a green flag. And then the red flag she mentioned doesn't help you as a man. It just helps your offspring, which Miley might divorce you in six years and take the offspring away. And so how did you benefit at all? Miley? I... Ugh. Man. Are, are there any other red flags or green flags? Like, of course, a green flag is gonna uh, gonna 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 improve a relationship. We should all want green flags. But guys, I hope you guys are seeing this. Y'all aren't really gonna hear this type of information on any channel anywhere else. 
But like these are important conversations because everybody sees Miley. Like everybody knows Miley probably has a good heart. But this is how women think. This is absolutely how women think. It is it is the 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 moving of goalposts from red flag to green flag. It is the prioritization of someone who is not you. Guys, I got I got a I got a secret to tell you. That kid that came out of your ball sack, that's not that's not you. That is an independent kid. And in fact, sometimes y'all's interests will be adverse. But even though y'all's interests are adverse and y'all are two separate people, Miley's like, oh yeah, these red flags are going to help that kid. What about me, Miley? Oh, you'll be all right. <laughs> right? It's tough, guys. Well, well, you know, that's a good point. How does it help you? So I mentioned that these are the two psychological differences, right? So women are high in neuroticism. Men are not. Women are typically, right, more agreeable. Men are more disagreeable. So with these two very different beings coming together, they create a balance within each other. Mm. How, does, how does neuroticism create a balance? Or You're saying that men... Well, because men are not known to be neurotic. They're usually more logical and less emotional, right? So a woman brings her neuroticism, her, her, her natural instinct to look for threats in the environment and, um, you know, right, with this example, yes. And that, that can create a balance in, in the conversations and going through the day to day. He, she will see things he does not and vice versa. Do you think a more a more fruitful conversation would be between two people who are not neurotic or the more fruitful conversation is going to be between a person who is not neurotic and a person who is neurotic. It's hard to say. I'm not sure. Because let's I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> let's think about it. Let's look, let's look up neuroticism. <laughs> <laughs> because it it would just seem off the cuff that two people who are not neurotic would would have a nicer conversation than one person who's not neurotic and one person who is neurotic. Mm. Like uh, let let's say two people one person is mentally stable and another person is mentally stable that can be an okay conversation. Do you think that conversation is going to be better or worse than a conversation with someone who is mentally stable and someone who is not mentally stable? I don't think neuroticism necessarily means mentally unstable. No, I changed it. I'm saying I, it's I, just I, like I'm the not... psychological blueprint of a woman. No, I'm just asking you. Mm. A person I, who's I would say yes. I would say two mentally stable people having a conversation is good. Okay, well, why is it that one person who's not neurotic and one person who is neurotic, that's supposed to be a great balance. Why is that? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Give me one second. This, this is what Miley's talking about. <laughs> let's, all right. Let's, what does neurotic mean? Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Neuroticism. Yeah, no, no, no. We got it right here. We got Google, baby. We I got it right too. here. Yeah, I okay. did the Google search before I came. All right. On. Well, okay. She's trying to be prepared. <laughs> She's trying to be prepared. So the person who is prepared is the one who's saying that it's a, a good balance between a person who is neurotic and a person who is not neurotic. That's right? the is only it? way any marriage between a man and woman works. Let's take a look. Neuroticism. Neuroticism is the trait, disposition to experience negative effects, including anger, anxiety, self-consciousness, irritability, emotional instability, and depression. All right? So this is what Miley is saying that, oh, this is, this is a great balance. Having someone who is not neurotic in the same relationship as a person who who experiences negative effects, anger, anxiety, self-consciousness, irritability, emotional instability, and depression. 
correct. This is this and, is what and, Miley's and saying is such a great balance. You could just you could just date no, 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 you no. could marry a man. Miley, you don't I, have to deal with any of it. Miley, what I think you're not recognizing is that people fall on a spectrum. There are women who are highly neurotic, and then there are women who are barely neurotic at all. And so instead of you saying, oh, we'll just date men, a more sophisticated approach would just be just date a woman who's low in neuroticism. Yes. Yes, Miley. Either or. Either. No, it's not either or. If you're a heterosexual man, it's not just date another man, Miley. Where are you talking about? It's not either or. Date a, date a woman that's low in neuroticism or date a man? For a heterosexual man, you think that's either or? No, you okay. see how they will do anything to win, guys. Okay. They will do anything to like jump on your victory. Okay. Right? Like, guys, you gotta have that good ear. Shout out to A V to the seventh power. Shout out to A V. Everybody put A V. God damn. What is A V talk about? She talks about that good ear. Guys, I'm old. I'm 46. I don't need two good ears, but I can tell you all I need is one. I can hear the bullshit with one good ear. Oh, I'm well. not trying to talk bullshit. I mean, I'm young. I'm trying to learn. I've, you th- I've been you, doing you, the research. I'm trying to gather the information and share what I know and learn from people like you with the experience. So what you know is to tell a heterosexual man that he <laughs> needs to either date a woman that's low in neuroticism or Ooh. date another man? Yeah. I just want men to understand the psychology of women so they can make better choices and take So a better choice would be to choices. a better choice would be to date a man. If you don't want to deal with any neuroticism or you don't want to deal with any of the psychological you know. Oh, she can't even hold it together. Shout out to Riley. She can't even hold it together. I'm doing my best. Guys, listen, shout out to AV. Shout out to my number one co-host, man. And shout out to my girl. You got to have that good ear. You got to pin these women down. They will squirm and they will try to skeet out. No, you got to put no. that damn forearm on them. You got to let them know. You got to let these women know because they will, oh, well, just, you know, start dating men. No, Miley. That's not you, all that I said, though. I, I advocate for, you know, preserving the family unit. It's all about the children, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I swear to God. Y'all are trying. First, El Guapo. I don't, are you and El Guapo talking behind the scenes? Are y'all trying to fucking I'm, just... Uh, I'm not, no. Gee, it's all about the children. You're on a man-centric... You know this, though. I'm a nanny. I love children. No one advocates for them. Man, it's this... all about the women and the men. Oh, poor men have to pay child support. Oh, poor women. Oh, my God. She's, she's, she's going rogue. Focus on the kids. She's going rogue. <laughs> That's all I care about. All, all you care about is the kids. Fuck the man, right? And the woman. Like, it's not about either of them. I'm not, you know be a good example for the children if you can't do that just just go don't have kids you made a choice not to have children uh well i don't know if that's true but you don't have kids i don't have kids kids. it was it was it was conscious but it was all you know i got lucky sometimes you know so Hmm. it's gotta either yeah but um guys i just hope y'all are watching this man you know it is it's it's like you are you got a great heart. Everybody knows it. Shout out to Miley. You know, and that's I don't know what the fuck it is today. El Guapo's got a great heart. Shout out to him. El Guapo is talking about, you know, if you're being abused, well, you know, just go along to get along and you know let sleeping dogs lie. You're up here talking about, you know, red flags can be good. And I say, Well, what's a red flag? And then you start talking about what. I say, what red flag is good for a marriage? And you immediately start talking about neuroticism, which supposedly help kids. But how does that help the guy? But now we understand you don't give a fuck about the guy at all. Because to you, to, wait, 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 wait. To you, you said it's all about the kids. That's the priority. They are my first priority, yes. They are my first priority. And so shout out to Miley. Listen, guys, it's great just to know where people stand. You know, the problem is, and this is why Miley is such a great woman. Because what the vast majority of women will tell you 
is that they love you and that you're their priority. When inside, they feel exactly like Miley. They feel exactly like Miley. Let a woman get pregnant and see where her priority is. Let her sit in them goddamn stirrups and that baby come out. She's looking at that damn baby. Uh-uh. It's about the kid at that point. And this is what men don't understand. Men who are getting married to these women with no prenup. Men who are getting married at all. Shout out to Nikolai. Nikolai says, pay attention, uh, gents. Uh, Miley is illustrating the truth. Shout out to my man, Nikolai. Nikolai, thank you for the email too. I wanted to do that video that you wanted, but when I look, I couldn't find the um, the the video. It was just audio. I can't really do a stream on audio, but that was a great, that's a great suggestion, Nikolai. Shout out to Nikolai. Guys, we don't want it to be this way. We do not want someone like Miley to think the way she thinks. I know, but let me tell you how it is, Miley, from, from our side. Let me tell you from my side. If, if, if I'm a man and I'm with you, Miley, you know, I'm willing to give everything to you. You ain't got to work. You know, you can, we ain't even got to have kids if you don't want to. It's like, it, my whole focus is on you. It's all on you. You know, I'll fight for you. I'll die for you if shit goes crazy. Like, whatever. I'm trying to protect you. You are my priority. Do you know what I want in exchange? All I want in exchange is the same thing. That's all I want. I want to be your priority. That's it. That is it. If I can be your priority 100%, that's all I want. But how are women wired? Women are wired. And that's why, you know, shout out to Miley because and, and Nikolai, Nikolai Vista saying it, it's like, this is um. This is how women are wired. You're not going to be the priority, especially when the kid comes along. No matter what the woman says, because y'all hear Miley talking. Like, do women when they talk? Is it even really real, or are they just talking words? You know, I mean, let's be honest, Miley. We all heard it. You know, they didn't hear it until I had to like explain it to them. But you're yeah. kind of all over the place. I tried my best. You know, I. I, I, yes, I tried my best to be, and I love you, you know, trying. articulate and, you know, precise with my language, but yeah, my it says, you... red flags and that, that whole perspective, it's all relative. It's all relative. I, so I didn't do a great job of explaining that. Miley, listen, I love your thought process. I love how you are equating it to evolutionary biology. You know, way more about this at your age than I did at my age. So you're way ahead of the game, way ahead of the game. Like you, you, you're on it. You're on it. And just like you said, which you, uh, freely uh, recognize, you know, you're learning, you're just learning about this stuff and you're trying to figure it out. That's why you hit the link. You're up here. You're talking to somebody who's maybe got, you know, a little older, a little bit more experienced. So, you know, that's why, like, no one's beating you up. I'm appreciative that you're here because you're really showing men so a couple of lessons that all men need to learn. And everybody knows you got a good heart, right? So no one's up here beating you up, right? But No, I don't think that. No, that's that's good. That's good. And I love that I you're up here. It as well. Thank yeah, you. I like you're like, hey, let me let me go against the lead. Let's see what he got, right? You can you can always come uh up here and uh and we could go toe to toe. And I like the fact that you're learning this stuff. And I I the, the way that you're thinking about it is the correct way in terms of evolutionary biology. To me, no one on YouTube is talking like this. No one on YouTube is talking about the big five like this. Certainly not in our sector. They're not talking about conscientiousness. They're not talking about openness. They're not talking about neuroticism. They're not. So the fact that you at your age is, is you know, you're into this stuff and learning it, I think it's amazing. Thank you. Right. You know, uh, Jordan B. Peterson, he's a huge motivation for for this uh, this learning journey for me. He's the one yeah. that's, you know, sharing all of this on YouTube for free. Yeah, 100 so. percent. Well, listen, Thank shout you. out to Miley. Have you started your channel yet? You're going to start. Have, yes. Shout your channel out, Miley. It's my Lee Mariko. My Lee. Oh, am I saying your name wrong? It's my it's Lee. It's okay. Everyone does. I got you. Shout out. Everybody put my Lee in the chat. All right. <laughs> Shout out to my Lee. 
Thank you so, so much, Marley, for coming up. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Marley. Thank you so much. All right. And again, shout, I, I thought I did this, but I got so fucking sidetracked. Shout out to my brother, MTR. I saw MTR in the chat. Is she still in this motherfucking man? Shout out to my MTR. I had a great conversation with him. Um, had a great... Everybody put MTR in the damn chat, man. Shout out to one of the big dogs, right? We got MTR. You know we must be doing something right over here in Section 8. We got MTR in this motherfucker. So y'all shout out to MTR. Shout out to my Lee. And now that my shit is clear, I can think. Because first El Guavo and then my Lee coming up. Let me give a shout out. A humongous shout out. Guys, y'all don't even know. The humongous, the biggest shout out I can to my number one co-host. God damn. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What does my girl AV to the seventh power say? Says this for the good ear. This for the good ear. Guys, please, y'all know I never ask y'all for anything. Please, please, please write AV in the damn chat, man. You don't have to answer the question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth!